Hi students, today for math, we're actually going to be making a bunch of materials that we need to be able to play a really fun bingo game later this week. You ready? All right, the first part is to collect the different materials you're going to need. I'll show you how I did this. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is something to write with, so I got a pen. You're also going to need to use something as counters. So think about some of the counting collections you've done. You need about 20 things to mark your spots on the bingo. I got some rocks from outside my house. I have about 20 and they're small. They look like this. Okay. You're also going to need some paper to write on. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to run out of paper. So I got resourceful. We have some brown paper bags from going to the grocery store. I can write on this. I also have an old box that some food came in. And guess what? On the inside, it's plain and a great place to write. So I'm going to rip open this box along the edge like this. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I just want my box to open. There. Now I have a lot of writing space and I'm not even using any paper. So that's the first thing that you need to do. Oh, one more material. You also want a cup or maybe an empty bowl, something you're going to be able to pull numbers out of. So go ahead and press pause on the video and go collect your material. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is write a number line starting at 10 and ending at 20 to use as a resource, okay? I'm gonna make mine on this cardboard box here. I already wrote one in pen, but you can't see it very well. So I'm gonna start with this marker, just so you guys in the video can see it, okay? So let me show you how I do this. I'm just gonna start over here on the side with 10, and 11, and I'm gonna keep writing across my whole piece of cardboard so I have this resource. Go ahead and press pause as and go make your own number line and we'll meet back here, okay? Okay, your number line probably looks something like this. Great work. Now just set it down in front of you where you can see it and use it as a resource while we make the next part of our game, which are our actual bingo boards. Now I'm gonna use this paper bag and you'll notice it has some colors on it. So I wanna use the inside that's blank. So I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to rip down the sides here. All the way around to the other side until you have half of your bag. And then you can see the blank side on the inside is much easier to draw on. So go ahead and press pause on the video and create your space for your bingo board or grab your paper if you're gonna use that. Great. Now we need to make two bingo boards because you're going to play this game with a friend, maybe a brother or sister or cousin or mom or uncle. So get your pen or marker or pencil and you make it simply by drawing two big lines down and two big lines across. So it looks sort of like a tic-tac-toe board if you've played that game, like this. So go ahead and press pause and make two of these, one for yourself and one for your friend. Okay, now you should have your two game boards. Your next task is to fill in each of these blank squares with one of the numbers from your team's family. That's why you made this number line resource here. So for example, I'm going to start with 12. And I might write 12 right here in the middle. And then, hmm, ooh, 16. I'm going to write 16 over here. And, ooh, 18. I'm going to write that up here. And I'm going to keep doing that until I filled in every box on my game board with one of the numbers. So go ahead and press pause and fill up your two game boards. Great, now you should have two game boards that look something like this. 
We're getting closer. The next thing you need to do is rip up a bunch of little pieces of paper. You need 20 small pieces of paper. I have this beautiful notebook that one of you gifted me so kindly. So I'm gonna use a page from in here and take that out. Now, if you don't have paper like this, guess what? You can flip over your bag and you can rip off small pieces from this side. They only need to be about that big, okay? So go ahead and find what you're gonna use. Maybe it's paper like this. And you're gonna rip up 20 small pieces of paper. Okay, so go ahead and press pause and go do that part. Okay, now that we have our pile of 20 little pieces of paper, your job is to write every number from zero to 10 on two of these. So for example, I need to write the number zero two times. So I'm gonna write zero, set it aside, and I'm gonna write zero again and set that aside. What number comes next? One, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna write one and I'm gonna write one one more time. You're going to write every number two times. What number comes next? Yeah, you got it, two. And how many times am I gonna write it? Yep, twice, exactly. All the way up to the number 10, okay? So now it's your turn to go do that on all of your pieces of paper. Go ahead, press pause. 10. 10. Okay. Oh, you're back. You beat me. Nice work writing your numbers. All right, my friends. Now, with this little pile of numbers we have, you're going to crumple each one up into a little ball so it looks like this and put it inside your empty cup or bowl that you grabbed maybe from your kitchen. You're going to do that with every number. Once you've done that, we're almost prepared for the game that we're gonna play later this week. So go ahead and press pause and crumple up all your numbers. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> 